Welcome, this is John Metz, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Corpus Christi, Texas, bringing you the forecast for future hurricane seasons. The 2005 hurricane season was unprecedented. 27 named storms developing across the Atlantic Basin Many of these made impact on the United States, from Arlene to Cindy, and Dennis to Emily, Katrina, Ophelia, Rita, and Tammy and Wilma. The Mid-Texas coast is one of few locations that didn't experience a hurricane last season. Are you feeling lucky? In 2005, we went through every name in the alphabet from Arlene to Wilma. This had never been done before. And we also made it a quarter of the way through the Greek alphabet. This graphic depicts just how active the 2005 season was for the Atlantic Ocean, with 27 named storms beating the previous record of 21 named storms set back in 1933. We also saw three of the most intense hurricanes on record in 2005. Katrina, with a pressure dropping to 902 millibars. Rita, 897 millibars, beating Hurricane Allen. And then Wilma, breaking all records for the Atlantic with a lowest pressure reading of 882 millibars, breaking Hurricane Gilbert's record, set back in 1988. We had several storms impact the Gulf of Mexico, from Hurricane Emily making landfall just south of Brownsville, Texas, to Hurricane Katrina passing across Florida and into Louisiana and Mississippi, and Rita making landfall over southeast Texas. Hurricane Wilma, we had the lowest pressure reading ever in a hurricane and also the greatest pressure drop in 24 hours. Hurricane Wilma's pressure dropped 100 millibars in 24 hours. This storm was a tropical depression and became a category five in one day. The reason for these very powerful hurricanes was the very deep warm water in the Caribbean Sea spilling into the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Katrina, after passing over the Florida coastline, moved into the very warm water, becoming a powerful Category 5 hurricane with sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. Hurricane Rita followed suit, passing south of Key West and into the very warm waters of the Central Gulf. And then Wilma, remaining over the Caribbean Sea for many days, becoming a powerful Category 5 hurricane, a record breaker, before moving through the Florida Straits and over South Florida. What is the forecast for 2006? The 50-year average for the Atlantic Ocean says we should have 10 named storms every year six of those becoming hurricanes and two major hurricanes, categories three, four, and five. In 2004, we had a very active season with 15 named storms, nine becoming hurricanes and six major hurricanes. You may recall many of those impacted Florida. And in 2005, we nearly doubled the 2004 season with 27 named storms, 15 hurricanes, and seven major hurricanes. So what's in store for 2006? Another very active hurricane season with 17 named storms, nine hurricanes, and five major hurricanes. This is equivalent to the 2004 season. What do future hurricane seasons have in store? Studies at NOAA have concluded that warmer sea surface temperatures 
is one of several important factors affecting the Atlantic hurricane activity. Upper level wind patterns and the thermohaline circulations of the Atlantic Ocean appear to drive the hurricane seasons in multi-decadal fashions. We have entered a very active hurricane period that may last for a decade or longer. So prepare for an onslaught of hurricanes. These are the names for the 2006 season from Alberto to William. Do you see your name on the list? If so, we are in trouble. This was John Metz.